thank you OPI for doing something a little bit differently. I appreciate it and I'm sending you many, many kudos. Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. Well, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Whatever. Today's video is for the newest collection from OPI. This is their fall 2023 collection called Big Zodiac Energy. When I initially saw spoilers of this release, I was cautiously optimistic. I really enjoyed the Barbie release. I kind of hated the summer collection. I was kind of meh about the spring collection, so I wasn't too sure what they're gonna give us for fall. The color story looked really, really good. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually really excited to share these with you guys. So before we get into today's video, I got a couple of things to mention. The first being, if you are new around here, hi, my name is Nicole. It is a wonderful to meet you and thank you very much for clicking on today's video. Do consider hitting subscribe if you enjoy a mixture of nail polish and lifestyle related content. I upload new videos every single week on Tuesdays and Saturdays. And I also go live every Sunday. If you are in fact a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? Just how is everyone going? How's everyone doing? Like I, <laughs> I had wanted this video to go up like quite a while ago. I'm fighting burnout. <laughs> Like I can laugh about it currently because it's absolutely ridiculous, but I'm trying my best guys. I'm trying my best. So anyway, so I did purchase this collection and, and as always, all thoughts and opinions are my own. If you would like to pick this release up at a discount as well as support the channel, I do have an affiliate code over for beyondpolish.com. Feel free to use code Nicole Nails on beyondpolish.com to save an extra 10% on individual polishes, but you know, no pressure. I'll also have links in the description box if you wanna pick this one up from like other retailers. I've seen it pop up in a whole bunch of places. So as always, down in the description box, I will have links to where you can pick these up because I just said that. Links to the OPI website and social media pages, my social media pages, as well as a link to my blog post on nicolelovesnails.com where I host all of my swatch photos, as well as provide a written review. And of course, timestamps are down in the description box as well. Let's just get into this video. First up, we have hashtag Virgoals, which OPI describes as a bronze pearl. If you are like me and absolutely hate pearl finishes, that description is a little bit misleading. I would describe this one as having a sheer bronze base with either a shimmer that shifts like gold, green, blue, or three different kinds of shimmeriness in it that has those color shifts. I can't quite tell, but I was seeing gold, green, and blue on the nail. Don't get too excited. This isn't like a crazy, mind-blowingly shifty shimmer but there are some color shifts happening. I was pretty geeked out that OPI had like a shifty shimmer. I don't own too many OPIs that are shifty shimmer, so I was very excited about this one. Because this one is so sheer, you do need to build it up in three coats or use it as a topper. There are some very slight brush strokes in this polish, but I found in the lighting around my house, they weren't super obvious. I feel like my camera did a better job picking them up than my eyeballs could in person. So that is three coats of hashtag Virgoals. Super easy removal, no problems with staining, but it will be messy. And now we have Aquarius Renegade, which is described as being a navy blue pearl polish. Aquarius Renegade was a solid one coater for me. My full hand swatches and my live swatch do show it in two coats. However, it was opaque on me in one coat. I really like the shade of blue. However, I feel like I always hate the polishes that are themed for Aquarius. I don't know why that is. This isn't a bad polish by any means. Both the formula and application were fantastic. You can see a little bit of brush strokes through that metallic E kind of shimmer in here. If you were asking me for an official description, I probably would call it a metallic. I feel like pearls usually have more of like a pearlescent finish to them and this one just feels very metallic. I hate that this is an Aquarius polish, but I don't hate the polish itself. So that is two coats of Aquarius Renegade. Super easy removal. I had no issues with staining, but definitely wear base coat because this one is very pigmented. And now we have Big Sagittarius Energy and OPI describes this one as a burgundy pearl. Once again, I would call this one a metallic and not a pearl, but I fully recognize that is splitting hairs. As someone who is fully committed in not just outright shitting on reds because I don't like reds, this was absolutely beautiful. It is a very rich jewel toned red shade that is really perfect for the fall. And I also feel like the winter season as well. This is giving me like cranberry vibes, which I didn't even know I liked cranberry vibes, but yeah, I apparently like cranberry vibes. This is another polish that was opaque on me in one coat, but my full hand swatches do show it in two coats plus glossy top coat. Call this one a potential stainer. I had a hell of a time trying to get this one out of my cuticle crevices during cleanup 
wear base coat with this. And now we have Feeling Capricorny, which OPI is describing as a sage green shimmer. Feeling Capricorny is one of the polishes in this release that are very sheer and you'll have obvious visible nailing with it even after three coats. The base itself does need to be on the more sheer side so that we can see those beautiful shifty shimmers. So I do appreciate that OPI gave us like a shifty shimmer moment. I just feel like for the sheerness and like the shifty shimmer moment, I'm kind of feeling a little bit underwhelmed. Supposed to give but it did not give what needed to be gave to the highest of giving if that makes any sense like i was able to see multiple different kinds of shimmers like i was seeing pink gold blue and purple shimmers in the base but somehow i still felt a little bit underwhelmed the shimmers actually remind me a little bit of the shimmer that was used in the zoya daydreaming collection from earlier this year like it's not like one shimmer that has color shifts it's it's a it seems to be like a bunch of different shimmers that have color shifts Appreciate that it was used, but I'm still not a fan. So that is three coats of Feeling Capricorny. Easy removal, but a little bit messy. No issues with staining. And now we have Feeling Libre Tech. I think it's supposed to say sound like liberated, but I don't know. Feel free to let me know how to say this because I'm very confused. This is another one that has a misleading description. There are some flakies in here in the bottle. This looks like a beautiful purpley berry color with like some iridescent kind of flakes. On the nail, however, this looks like a, it's more berry than purple. And the flakies are just... I guess underwhelming is a way to describe them. I'm not really a fan. Which is a bummer because this was one of the polishes I was very excited for. Like the bottle shot looks so promising. This is another one that you do need to build it up in three coats. And even after three coats, you will still have very obvious visible nail line, which again is needed so that you can see the flakies. But I just feel like for the level of sheerness, the flakies just didn't give me what I really wanted them to give me. And I was just kind of disappointed disappointed by this one bad polish by any means the flakies do not dry down texture they'll be a little messy on removal again i don't think it's bad i just don't think this one is for me personally next up we have gemini and i which is described as being a soft white shimmer so this is the polish that i would call this is a pearlescent finish in my mind like it has a very pearly frosty kind of look to it i am not generally much of a fan of but this one there was something about this that i didn't flat out hate I feel like the base itself has like a very nudey kind of color to it and then whatever's in here making it that frosty kind of pearlescent look adds to it and I, I don't know I didn't hate it I actually kind of really liked it on me. This is another polish that is a bit more on the sheer side. I'm gonna want to build this one up to get either the most opacity however I did find in three coats it still had a very soft and delicate look which is again another look for me that I am not used to really liking on myself. That is three coats of Gemini and I. Nothing in here is gonna dry down textured. You will want top coat for a glossy finish. You got anything to say for everyone, Stormy? <laughs> Why are you so cute? Oh, hi, Dieters. And now we have I Can Certainly Shine, which OPI is describing as a holographic silver. As someone who absolutely loves sparkly things, I was so excited for this polish. I am happy to say this did have a really nice formula. The holographic in here appears to be like micro flakies. They are super duper holographic. They honestly look really fantastic. They don't really spread out completely evenly, so I don't think this one is supposed to be a topper. So I'm going to be building this one up in three coats. This has some topper capabilities but in my opinion I didn't like how dense the flakies were like you kind of miss out on a lot of your base when you use this one as a topper like I said I absolutely love sparkles so I love how holographic this polish is I think it's absolutely fantastic however my only complaint is you can kind of see a couple of areas on my nail where it's like a little bit patchy there again there's so much sparkle happening that it's easily ignorable but I can also see myself just being like Argh! at the patches a little bit not perfect but it's still great so it has three coats of I can certainly shine it will not be difficult like a glitter but it will be definitely messy and now we have kiss my Aries and the OPI describes this one as a fiery red shimmer kiss my Aries had a fantastic formula and I was really pleasantly surprised at how good coverage was on that first coat not quite a one coater but very very close 
Shimmery reds always make me think of like holiday releases. So I didn't love this one for the fall collection, but I guess if we're thinking like transitional seasonal colors and this one is really nice. I feel like I've been using the word juicy to describe a lot of colors recently, but just everything has just been feeling very juicy to me for some reason. I feel like that last sentence sounded a little questionable, but we're just gonna, we're gonna keep it rolling. That is two coats of Kiss My Aries plus glossy top coat, easy removal and no issues with sanding, but always wear base coat. And now we have Pisces the Future, which OPI is describing as a light blue pearl polish. OPI got me good with this one. Like in the bottle, I was like, oh, another pearl, groundbreaking, fantastic. On the nail, however, I was seeing color shifty goodness and I was no longer mad at, you know, the frosty brush strokiness that is the OPI pearlescent formulation. The color shift seemed to be in the pink, blue, purple color family. I feel like I was seeing like a hint of gold in there as well, but like it was it was just a hint of it. So I'm not 100% sure if you're really gonna see too much of it on the nail. Yeah, I was real surprised at how much I ended up liking this one. Do you think this one's gonna be a two to three coater depending on application and personal preference? For my full hand swatches, I did swatch it in three coats, but I feel like if you're not super picky, it's passable in two. Of course, removal will be super easy. And now we have Scorpio Seduction, which OPI describes as a navy blue pearl. So this is like a more shimmery version to the last navy blue that we saw earlier. Aquarius Renegade was opaque on me in two coats. I think Scorpio Seduction is gonna be a two to three coater depending on personal preference. For my full hand swatches, I opted to go in for three coats. For the live swatch, I noticed you couldn't really tell a difference between two coats and three, so I just stopped at two coats for the live swatch. But in person, I had um, some visible nail line after two coats, so I opted to go in for a third just to make everything, you know, opaque. Initially, I was a little take it or leave it over this one, but once I realized that there was a purple color shift in here, I was like, okay, okay, I see what you did here, OPI. I'm no longer mad that you put two navy blues in the same collection. I did not experience any standing with this one. Removal will be fairly easy, but also messy. And next up is Taurus Sea Me, which OPI describes as a mint green shimmer. Taurus Sea Me had a nice formula, but as you can see on that first coat, this is real sheer. In hindsight, I probably should have tried this one as a topper. I didn't think of that until just now, because even in three coats, I feel like you don't get very much color payoff. All of the color is really coming from the shimmer, and I just feel like it's a little underwhelming. This is also one of those shimmers that have little like pigment specks in them. I don't know how well you're seeing them here in the live swatch, but there's just like these little dots that aren't green. They look almost like a very dark brown or a black. I also saw them when I was doing my full hand swatches. When I was doing my full hand swatches, I had originally thought that I had like stray glitter from a previous swatch still on my nail and that's what I was seeing in person. But seeing them happen during the live swatch and I was not swatching anything that had that color in it, I now realize no, it's the polish itself. There's three coats of Taurus Me, easy removal but fairly messy. Just got a little bit of a wonky brush. So if you're wondering why application is wonky on the first coat, that is why. So here is the Lee Only One, which is described as being a bold gold pearl. This was the second polish in the release that like I was praying so hard that I wasn't going to hate it because in the bottle, it is a bright, rich gold color and I absolutely loved it. I don't know if a jewel toned gold is in fact an actual thing or if I'm just making up that description, but that's what I think of when I see this one. Like this looks like the color of like a beautiful like gemstone, very saturated and I absolutely loved it. Brush strokes and all. I feel like if you spent any amount of time here on the channel, you know I love gold. Golds tend to get me quite a bit, so that's probably not going to be very surprising to you. I've got no complaints on this one, so I swatched the Lee Only one in two coats plus glossy top coat. Easy removal, and I had no issues with staining. Alrighty, so final thoughts. Overall, I thought this was a really nice release. I There were a couple of polishes that I was kind of like, meh about, but I have to say this. I really, 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 really appreciate that OPI did something just a little bit differently than their normal fall releases. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy, you know, typical fall releases. I like the color stories. I feel like sometimes OPI can change things up. I appreciate it when they do. I appreciate it when they do. So I want to give... Thank you, OPI, for doing something a little bit differently. I appreciate it, and I'm sending you many, many kudos. There we go. We gave them their kudos. Now it's time to shit on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I like that this was themed Zodiac. I am not like the biggest 
astrology gal in the world. I'm an Aquarius for some context, but like I don't follow it too heavily. In general, I almost always hate my, whatever is like my, my color in like Zodiac collections. I pretty much always hate it. It's never a color that like I love love. Aquarius Renegade. I didn't flat out hate it, which is what I expected that I would. I won't go so far as to say that I absolutely loved it, but I didn't hate it. And I'm going to keep that going. Like it's a really pretty shade of blue. This is the first OPI release in quite a while where I didn't find myself like groaning like, ugh, more pearl, ugh, more metallics, ugh, more brushstroke. This was the first release in a long time that I didn't find myself doing that for every single time I saw brushstrokes. When I got Pisces the Future on my nail, I was shocked. <laughs> I was just like, wait a second, wait a second. Are those, am I seeing color shifts? I cannot believe my eyes. I was really surprised and excited that like we had a color shifty one thrown in here. I was hoping for more color shifties, but the fact that we got anything color shifty plus a holographic in there, I was really happy. The only polish in this collection that I was genuinely disappointed by was feeling Libreted. Libreted? I saw the flakies in here and I had such high hopes for it and it really just truly let me down. Like it's such a pretty color in the bottle, but once you get it on the nail, it's just kind of like, hate it. But my top picks from this release are going to be I Can Certainly Shine, the Leonly one. These are definitely gonna be my top picks. Duh because hollow, duh because uh, gold. I'm very predictable it seems. I'm very, very predictable. As I was saying, overall, not a bad release at all. The color story was nice. I like that we had an interesting theme going on as well. I'm not mad at it. I do recommend this one. Oh, we got someone knocking at the door. Hold on. Come on, Stormy. I'm sure the people would love to have you in a video. She's coming. We found a wild Dee Dee. Oh, you're go okay, you're... Okay. Looks like Dee Dee's taking Stormy's spot today. Uh, and of course, now Stormy shows up. I wonder if we can get two cats in the... We got Stormy and we got Dee Dee. I bet Stormy's... Yeah, Stormy's leaving. She's not a fan of Dee Dee. So this collection is popping up now in all the places where OPI is sold. And of course, we'll have some affiliate links down in the description box if you want to pick these up and support the channel. I would love to know what everyone else saw this release. Are you planning on picking up? Have you already picked it up? What are your favorites? Y'all know I am nosy. Please tell me. I am always very curious about what people think of these collections. If you missed my other fall collection reviews, I have been ranking my personal opinion, which collections I've been liking the most. I am going to surprise myself and I'm actually, am I going to do that? Yeah, I think I am. Okay. Yes. I thought it over. I'm going to put OBI at number one. Oh my God for fall collections thus far. We're gonna do Essie at number two and then China Glaze at number three. So I think that's actually different than I thought it would be from the last video. I think the last video I said it would be Essie, Orly, OPI, then China Glaze, but no, OPI is number one. Although to be fair, OPI also had 12 polishes, so I feel like they had more chances to wow me. I feel like I'm just like making excuses for China Glaze at this point. <laughs> That's my current ranking for fall collections. I'd love to know what your current ranking for fall collections are. Before we end today's video, I want to give a very special shout out to my channel members, besties. Y'all are the best. I love y'all. Thank you so very much. Your names are all on the screen right now. If you would like to join my channel memberships, I have a link for that down in the description box. But as always, feel no pressure at signing up. Just, you know, like the video, comment, share, subscribe all the things and we are good. So just thank you all so very much again for watching today's video. Please don't forget to give it a big old like. Like I feel like this is, I'm getting it up kind of late. So I'm kind of scared at how well this video is going to do. So all the extra engagement will definitely help. <laughs> all right. So just thank you all so very much for watching today's video. Hope everyone has a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.